My favorite description of turkeys is that they are Roombas with feathers. They just go where they please, here one day, gone the next, in places where you least expect them, but never in the places you expect them to be. I love it, yet I hate it. It's time for me to start trying to locate some new birds. For this hunt, I get to go out with Corey, and based off a tip from a coworker of his, we decide to try a spot that we know, and a spot we never expected. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm hunting with Corey. Yep, finally. Finally. We're at the turkey spot. I'm gonna go up and kind of see what we can do this morning. Optimism's there. <laughs> this is one of the spots that's been hit really hard. Really hope no late ladies deciding to walk their dogs at seven in the morning decide to show up. That would be bad. That would, be bad. That would ruin it. And walk, call, see if we can get one to fire off, and go from there. That's the playbook. Beautiful morning. A little chilly. We'll see what this spot produces. Otherwise, I don't have to rename it. It's not the tricky spot anymore. <laughs> Well, been calling for a bit. Haven't heard anything. So we're gonna go move to a different spot. See if we can find birds. Move call, move call, find one that wants to play the game. That's the game plan. Okay, bye. All right, so we just moved down the road just a little bit. Hi, Corey. Hey. <laughs> Trying to spot that we've hit for deer and ducks. They haven't really turkey hunted here before. But And rabbits. And rabbits. I've seen a rabbit get shot here. Yeah. I think I see a rabbit right now. Cottontail? Yes you do. Right there? Yep. Yeah. This is exactly where we shot. Yeah. Bun -bun. <laughs> <Shram>. <laughs> but uh so we're just gonna kinda call around and see if we can get one to fire off. I've run enough uh Hot tip that someone saw birds here. See if you can get footage of it. Bud, bud. Well, pretty sure we heard a gobble. Oh, we did. Heard a gobble. So we got set up on this inside corner on public. Inside a, uh, Grove of what do you call it? Crataegus. Tatanka? Hawthorn. Tatanka. Buckthorn. Tatanka. <laughs> Spiky tree. Tatanka. It's not a buffalo. Spiky tree. <laughs> Exactly. So, we've been calling for a bit, Corey. Yeah, a little bit. How do you feel? Excited, but um, I don't know. I don't know if we're calling too much. And he's just like trying to get over here, but uh, not sure. Yep. Maybe he hasn't had his Wheaties yet. He's getting ready. Haven't had his coffee this morning like looking, you. Looking for his Viagra. Might have lost it in his feathers. Um, but yeah. We're thinking he might be a smaller bird. Um, because his gobble wasn't very full. But we'll see. See what happens. Do I look good, Corey? Do I look good? Who? Do I look good? I can't see the camera. You look good all the time. Wow. <laughs> look at that muzzle. <laughs> look at that muzzle. Look at that mug. Look at that mug. Just gonna sit here, do some calling sessions, see if we can pull one. Or at least get that bird. Thought we heard a couple. 
couple different spots, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. That's mildly unfortunate. So I decided to kind of pick up and kind of like walk along this tree line at borders next to some private fields. Lo and behold, there's big old fat Tom <laughs> hop, hopping away. But he was henned up and the hen just kind of like just peacefully just kind of fed off back to where he was. So, who knows? Maybe there's more. Keep kind of walking down a little bit, just kind of calling. Squirrels just scaring the crap out of me, though. At least we got to see some birds, Corey. We did. I think uh, maybe we should hang around this tree line and then follow down and then go up the tree line, uh, go up the hedgerow and look at that field. Yeah. If yeah. You want? Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Let's see if maybe one will fire off and get them to play. Yeah. But we did hear a gobble. Indeed, we did. Yep. Time to walk. So we dropped deeper on the state land spot. Kind of saw where the turkeys were kind of heading. And they're right now in between like a timber stand in between the two fields on the private side. So we dropped down and we're now right along the property line. On a field, decoys back in the tree line just a bit. Kind of an opening spot to see if maybe we can pull the head. We'll pull them back down here, think it were different. But Tom was definitely pretty spooked. Probably saw us. Don't know how, but he saw us. So I'm just kind of playing along camera right now just to see what happens. Corey's up in front of me. Okay. Assuming he's still anywhere nearby to even hear us. Or believes that we are what we are sounding like we are, so. It's been a very beautiful morning, warmer morning than it has been so far this season. Got to see birds though, that's good. Didn't film them because they were too far away, but.
All right, well, they didn't come. We are both hungry. That's about to do it for today. Yeah. We tried. We tried. We tried. At least we got to see birds. Yeah. He's possibly gonna go down to our buddy's place in Buffalo. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure I'm going. Yeah, I'm gonna see what's down there. I'm gonna go hunt a little bit of private that's new that I got permission on down here in Bloomfield. That'll be fun. We'll see how that goes. Yep. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys in the morning. Want to say bye, Corey? See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. So, little change in plans for tomorrow. I'm not going to go to a place where I got permission. I'm actually going to go out with a co-worker of mine who's got permission on private land. And he had three toms actually fire off this morning. So, I'm going to go hunt with him for the first time and see how things pan out. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to go do. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. The biggest challenge I've found in turkey hunting is finding birds, more specifically, a bird that will play ball. The style of hunting that has gotten me many close encounters involves a lot of walking and calling. Sometimes I will sit and call for about 45 minutes to an hour, then pick up and move. I just chase after gobbles. Eventually, you'll find one. 